हेलो एंड वेलकम टू क्या लग रहा है मार्केट और डेली प्रोग्राम और निफ्टी बैंक निफ्टी एनजी एन आर सो विदाउट फर्दर डू लेट्स जस्ट गेट ड्राइव राइट इन टू दिस एंड सी व्हाट द मार्केट होल्ड्स फॉर अस टुमारो एंड हाउ टू रिएक्ट टू द मार्केट रिगार्डलेस ऑफ व्हाट मार्केट डस टुमारो राइट सो सो स्ट्रेट अवे फर्स्ट थिंग निफ्टी निफ्टी चार्ट वी लुक इट निफ्टी स्पॉट एंड निफ्टी फ्यूचर्स इफ यू फॉलोइंग निफ्टी फ्यूचर्स we have a little bit more way to go before we finally hit the uh, peak but of course uh, uh, because tomorrow is a futures expiry this chart might just jump up a little tomorrow uh, now let's look at uh, uh, it where is it nifty yeah uh, nifty index and this is very close to the breakout point but in any case we are below the blue line and as long as we are the blue, blue, below the blue line we know what to do bank nifty interestingly filled this gap right there was a small gap down opening between this bullish bearish engulfing and the second confirmation candle it did give a third low but then it bounced back and now we have another gap fill right and dollar of course it's in a very tight range hardly moving uh, 3 4 paisa every day so it's like a very uh, futile exercise to try and game dollar so nifty is nearing the blue trend line bank nifty has filled the gap so chart wise both of them are in a very uh, uh, critical juncture right uh, okay now mr trader i saw you on this thing you are just wasting everybody's time by spamming Uh, Jay Shah, please don't do check Nifty, check Nifty. This is so pointless. Yar, spam mat karo. Please re be respectful of other people. Everybody wants to comment and be heard, right? If you keep on spamming, how will other people comment? This is like, uh, this is not nice, right? Not, not, I mean, I, I don't care because you know I can just ignore comments, but it's not nice to other people who are trying to communicate something, right? Uh, so now option chain. Uh, today we saw a lot of call writing at all strikes. Above seventeen six hundred, right? All of these are call strikes. There is some put addition at seventeen six hundred, and if you look at the overall option chain, it looks pretty neutral. There is support at seventeen five hundred, but there is resistance at every strike above seventeen six hundred. PCR is zero point eight, which is pretty much neutral, right? Now let's look at uh, uh, now let's look at. Uh, FII data. So basically, what did we know so far? Nifty is nearing the blue trend line. Bank Nifty has filled the gap. Lot of call selling today at all strikes above seventeen six hundred. Put selling at seventeen six hundred. Expiry is likely between five hundred and seven hundred because of the build up of the at least as per option chain. PCR is zero point eight neutral. FII data is interesting. So there are many more puts compared to calls, but today they bought thirty k calls and sold around five k puts. But फ्यूचर्स में दे सोल्ड थाउजेंड क्रोर्स स्टॉक्स में दे आर न्यूट्रल राइट सो इट्स एक्चुअली वेरी वेरी वन सेकेंड वेरी कॉन्फ्लिक्टेड राइट सो मिक्स सिग्नल्स ऑल ओवर द प्लेस रेंज पाउंड एक्सपायरी वेरी लाइकली न्यूट्रल टू रेंज पाउंड एक्सपायरी so there is a jackson hole karke ek economic symposium which happens in us every year uh, so now it is happening right now maybe you know the market is waiting for some comments from these jackson hole boys to you know uh, say ki yaar kya karoge interest rate badhaoge ghataoge etc etc maybe that is why we have such neutrality right so people are asking to look hdx nifty let's look at that also hdx nifty is already at 17700 that is up that's actually neutral right because today it closed at 17600 and change on spot and you're saying that it's up 100 points it theek hai i mean i mean maybe you shouldn't read too much into it so basically if you ask me i am guessing that expiry might be largely neutral maybe slight bullish bias so i would very likely expect expiry between 500 and 700 Maybe six hundred and seven hundred. So ideally, the trade to do tomorrow is 
a neutral trade with 1700 put sell and 1700 call sell right so that is what i might be tempted to do tomorrow right um, 7700 put sell and 7700 call sell uh, if tomorrow on open there is bullish momentum and you see strong candles maybe you can rethink the 1700 but 17500 600 day because there are so many puts freshly wrote today maybe 500 is a safe bet to take but if you look at op op option chain right again 500 has some strong support 600 has some strong support but recently written puts so largely my guess is this is where the expiry will be right um okay let me see if there are any other user comments dollar also is stuck in a rut because of uh, Jackson Hole and all. Brent is more than 100. Is there any platform for a student to learn about? Yeah, if you are a college student, don't get into all this. Yeah, just focus on your studies and try to increase your skill level, right? There's no point in doing stock markets when you are in college. Like if a college student asks me, should I do trading? My answer to them is simple. Please focus on whatever you are studying. If it's if you are interested enough in that, right? If you are studying, let's say, computer science or, you know, whatever it is, your expected value <coughs> from doing a very good job or let me put it this way, right? I know <coughs> many people in Uber, Flipkart, etc, 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 who after 5-6 years of work as a developer make like a crore um, every year, right? I don't know too many traders who make a crore every year, right? Uh, so... And, and the people who do make a crore every year uh, undergo a lot of uh, stress. Somebody is saying SGS Nifty 1778 here. Q here 1700 for KC 700. So, so I would say that if you are, you know, having a business or if you are studying or if you are a developer, designer, any of that stuff, I think this it's pointless to trade. You should just focus on whatever is your main skill and try to increase your, you know, uh, outcome from that rather than try to trade with small capital right it's not worth your time uh, okay Re your usd and are coffee tricky ar like i'll i'll just let me just get into usd and are okay let's see usd and are what's it doing it's, it's, it's a little tricky so see it's it's stuck in a kind of a tight range let me just see right here so this is USDNR, right? The intraday candle for today is a uh, is a hanging man, you could say, but it's also like a dragonfly doji. But the larger point is that USDNR is kind of stuck in a range. So if you ask me, yaha pe kya karoge, I'll definitely be bullish. I won't be bearish USDNR simply because today's candle shows a very strong rejection wick at the bottom. This candle also shows a rejection wick at the bottom. There is healthy consolidation here. There is a bullish engulfing after which it has consolidated and moved up basically at every level when it tries to go down right there is rejection so i would probably be long usdnr by buying on any dip i can get it on right okay so that is our analysis for today we'll uh your yug is asking show and go yaar push in nahi dikhati wo galat baat hai it's a very bharat is saying sgx nifty is actually at 17770 yaar yaar kaise let me just see sgx nifty 70 how is it that you and we are seeing two different values here i'm seeing 17698 what is this, this is it like um Bharat, how are you seeing 17770 i am not seeing 17770 or are you like somebody from this royal canine puppy food or this espresso brokerage that you are asking me to keep on refreshing the screen so that people get to see your ad <laughs> what is this dude like, i i i mean i i somebody is saying hdfd 17770 i am not seeing how it is 17770 if you want, I can check trading view also. I, do, I don't see it, dude. Like, I don't see 17 cents. I don't know how you are seeing it. Oh, please see in trading view. Is it okay? Uh, okay. Let me see. I don't know which expiry that is, but I'll just check nevertheless. How do I do this? Uh, all SGX. Yeah, this, right? Oh, okay. Like this. 
okay maybe it has happened but uh, yeah this might be some other future here because look at that sgx nifty dot org so i don't know this i'm seeing this for the first time so i wouldn't want to comment on something that i don't understand but uh, like uh, i don't know what this is to be honest so we'll see but uh, but uh, anyway uh, the point is uh, <coughs> uh, <coughs> we'll see what happens tomorrow right there's no point in going ahead and predicting but anyway this is our analysis for today uh, as usual this is not recommendation multibagger tips or any of that stuff uh, as usual please don't trade above your size please don't trade <coughs> above a risk which you can't tolerate most important thing is please conserve your capital so on that note i'll take your leave again till we meet again uh, tomorrow so thank you so much guys uh, uh, please take care and keep your capital safe.